welcome to Heaven on Earth, a sacred portal to visualizing, meditating, and co-creating our highest joys that usher in the golden age of Aquarius. I'm your host, Athena Starcy. Good morning. This is Athena Starseed, and I have my gorgeous co-host, Kim Hicks, all the way from Hawaii. Aloha, Kim. Aloha, Athena, and all our star workers. Aloha, aloha. So I am, I am phoning this one in today. We had a lot of rain, and I wanted to uh, let everybody know I'm very happy that Mother Earth is watering all of the grass and the trees of California and the area that we're in. We're just loving the fact that we get some nice, beautiful rain to nurture everything, to have it grow. And um, we're going to start out with our opening invocation to water our own souls, to have them also grow. So I'd like to invite everyone to take a nice, deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. From the point of light within the mind of God, let light stream forth into the minds of men. Let light return to earth. But the point of love is in the heart of God. Let love stream forth into the hearts of men and women. May the Christ consciousness return to earth. In the center where the will of God is known, let the center guide the little wills of men and women, the center which the masters know and serve. And may it seal the door where evil dwells. May the plan of love, light, and power restore heaven on earth. Archangel Michael, Gabriel, Uriel, Raphael, Father, Sai, and Mother Earth, from the point of light that connects us all, please be here in the sacred circle of light. Om, 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 and amen, and amen. Mm-hmm. Okay, so um, we are going to be talking about um, transformation and um, inner ascension. And this is about why did we come to earth? Every single soul was born with a purpose, wrapped in a riddle inside their own treasure chest. And it's our own life's journey to unwrap that riddle and find out what is the service of our soul? Why are we here? Why did we incarnate? And as we go through life, we find out that our inner bliss guides us through our yellow brick road into the path of awe. And when um, L. Frank Baum wrote The Wizard of Oz, it's kind of, I mean, the reason why that story is so powerful is because the Dorothy in all of us is looking for something outside of herself to complete herself, to find herself. And through her own journeys of encountering the Tin Man, the Lion, the, uh, the scarecrow and the witches and the, and the wizards, she realizes that she's always had that liberation within herself. And so she becomes liberated, clicks her heels three times, and returns herself to her inner awe, which is om or home. And so Kim and I uh, basically created this show and we're mother and fathering it to say we yeah. would like to invite all the light workers to find their inner awe and then come and create that with us on heaven on earth. And that's what that is to me. It's a platform for we, for we, the we collective, to play together, to dream together, and to share our life's journey. Beautiful, Athena. Beautiful. Very succinct. Just imagine what we could do on this planet in very short order with an enlightened group of citizenry coming online, connected by the Internet, overcoming the uh, industrialization process and the whole globalization of marketry and coming up with the human values that are absolutely necessary for us to re-enchant our Earth with. So I'm very excited about being a full-on participant with you in this little show, and and we're going to grow this little show. And uh, this is the whole principle of nurturing right now. Um, the, the power of the light is on the increase. We've just passed the winter solstice, and we're up and running, moving toward a new light. And I think the energy can be felt uh, all along the wave fronts. And uh, so I'm looking at all the 144,000 of you who are active and alive. It's time to come together in a grand summation of new experimental consciousness that will lead us to an enlightened planet for thousands of years to come. We've got to get to work on this. And so um, as Kim and I are going through our magical journeys, we have been meeting people along our path that have woken up and had incredible life transformations, some of them through near-death experiences, some of them through encounters with 
angels or ascended masters, and some of them through shamanic means where their third eye is open and they have received certain light codes that remind them that they're here to do something greater than their own personal interest. And so from times of old, Typically, mm, a holy person or a spiritual person would go away to find out what their purpose was and then come back and serve humanity. But we're in a time right now where people, they have to wake up right in their own homes, in their own families, in their own communities, in their own countries, and how to flower a community based on love right here, right now. Well, I'm a firm believer in that concept. And I believe that we can design a new operating system for Earth, at least among all our humans, that is involved uh, at the highest level of love intelligence, which is the compassion, conscious awareness of all other beings. Instead of the whole egoic game that we've been playing in, in this country of ours and this, uh, this global game, actually, which has been very exploitive and, and uh, it's, it's a, a nightmare, the, uh, the, the matrix structure of the game that extracts wealth and health and well-being from families and people and human beings. So uh, the next step, of course, is a transcendental consciousness that, that actually puts human values again at the forefront. I want to mention, uh, Athena, that the, the 60s, having been a participant in the, uh, the, the, the great event that we refer to as the 60s was a coming together of many movements that brought together a coalition of conscious avatars who saw that the Vietnam War was crazy, that the civil rights movement uh, would needed full support from all of us, that the uh, gay and lesbian freedom movements were vital, and uh, women's liberation was critical to the well-being of, of humanity. And, and I'm saying right now, boy, that is what's coming together now. All those movements have grown up in a very sophisticated way. We need to project them onto an entire planet of people. Everybody needs to be liberated in this. And this is the 60s is going global. Whatever, the 60s were very compressed. We didn't even have, barely had national news in the 60s. Uh, the, 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 the newsreels from Vietnam didn't come in for 24 hours. Uh, we, were, we weren't 24-7. We are now. And so the potential has escalated for humanity. And, of course, the absolutely most secret hidden power of our planet to bring change and transformation is the power of feminine energy. On a universal scale, women will save the world. And that's really a, it's really a powerful statement. And I want to go into that a little bit because I don't want to exclude the men. But what Kim is saying is very yes. profound. There's, there's been a time you know, and a season and a reason for everything in the universe. And so when, when it's time to shift energy, it's about incorporating the yin and the yang. There's, um, a, there's forces in nature that are more masculine. There's forces in nature that are more feminine. And we have cycles, cycles like the moon, and cycles the moon uh, covers the tides, and those are in harmony with the cosmic cycles of the universe. And they are all in this celestial um, music of the spheres. And when we, as women, tune into our own cycles, and then we expand those cycles and share them with our planetary men and children, what happens is, is we go back into harmony with the, the cycles of nature. And so it, we, we do want to empower women. We want to celebrate women. And we know that women have a very distinct quality of inclusiveness. And Kim always says uh, women will not put up with civil rivalry at the dinner table. Yeah. And that, yeah. that is so I mean, profound it, because – go ahead. We have a planet full of sibling rivalry. We have the brothers of Abraham at war with each other, and women basically don't accept that. That's just not a – you know, two guys will meet and uh, argue and get in a ferocious argument about, about God, right? And they'll eventually pull knives. I mean, you're like, really? And the women, they're saying – their wives will get together and go, oh – so you believe in Allah, and well, I believe in Jesus, so let's have lunch and talk about the kids. Right. And, it's, and, simple. And, it's simple stuff. This is this game of predatorial behavior that we've created uh, in this uh, uh, sort of ugly competitor paradigm is really tearing at the fabric of our unity. And I don't mean to mean that the men don't have a role 
Athena, you're wise, wise to point that out because the masculine role here that is required is a huge, enormous transformational role. And that is to come into full alignment and service with the well-being of all, all the energy on the planet that is a nurturing energy. We masculine have that. We have that in fatherhood and grandparenting. We have it deep in our desire and passion to support, protect, um, provide for. And uh, these services are the services of the masculine in its highest, most noble role. And allied with the women on a global scale coming into power uh, politically enough to balance the dinner table sibling rivalry, we can work wonders. I would like to um, <clears throat> share a few quotes. Um, one is by a very famous uh, music and film director named Stephen Lawrence Harvey, who I had the pleasure of meeting this week when I went to a um, quantum Qigong screening. It was a film about harnessing the power of the both masculine and feminine. And the qi is both, you know, uh, masculine and feminine. And, and there's a purpose for the inhale to receive the nourishment and then the exhale to give back uh, to the planet. And so he had this gorgeous photo journal that he did to acknowledge feminine energy, the divine feminine. He took pictures of women all over the world. And one of his quotes was um, that his journal was to acknowledge and honor the feminine divine energy in all of its wisdom and beauty and to inspire and awaken humanity. If given the same opportunity as men, women by nature will support, nurture, inspire, and uplift, bring cooperation, and even more compassion to raise the consciousness of humanity. And isn't that true? Blatantly, beautifully, exquisitely true. <laughs> I mean, if we don't know and understand that, and then gratitude to all our mothers and all the women that have helped, uh, even in my own life, raise me. I've been shaped and formed and pruned by uh, feminine energy in, in what I consider an incredibly valuable way. I think that uh, um, uh, Stephen Lawrence Harvey is a very interesting guy, and he's, uh, he's figured out what I've come to understand is a vital understanding that the greatest hope for mankind right now is womankind. Mm. Mm, that is so beautiful. And here's what Osho said. If oh. women are allowed the freedom to grow to their full potential, there will be many, many women enlightened, many, many women mystics, poets, painters, healers, and they will enhance not only the women's part of the world, because the world is one, they will enhance the whole world. They will give man also a new dimension because their ways of seeing things are different. Men look at things in a certain way, and women look from different perspectives. And together, it will make life become richer. That's Osho. Yeah, no, that's Osho. Osho, another mm -hmm. very, very perceptive being from the great annals of, of, of the avatars themselves. Uh, this is a... These are great world-changing times, Athena, and, and I'm, I'm really thrilled to be a part of it. I, I wanted to quote something here from the, because I first got on to this principle of like, what's, what's the story with women? Are we coming on a break? I'll pick it up after the break. Okay, so everybody stay tuned. This is Heaven on Earth with Kim Hicks and Athena Starseed, and this is the portal of possibility for the 144,000 to gather and collectively create Heaven on Earth. We'll be right back after these commercial messages. Hi, everybody. Michael Horn from CRNTalk.com. You know, we provide you with the best in talk radio, eight channels of talk radio, from radio on the left, radio on the right, sports talk, business talk, religious talk, Spanish talk, you name it, we've got talk radio for you, all at CRNTalk.com. Well, now we'll bring you video as well as audio. That's right. Watch your favorite shows like the Robert Conrad Show, the Fred Dreyer Program, What's Cooking Today, What's Cooking on Wine, The Lounge, and so many other shows in video 
right at our website, crntalk.com. You can also watch us on Roku. Just search CRN Talk and you can watch us on Roku on any TV anywhere in the world. Also on Facebook Live. Go to facebook.com forward slash CRN Digital Talk. Facebook.com forward slash CRN Digital Talk. Roku, search CRN Talk. Check us out on Tiki Live and at crntalk.com. Video for you talk fans all from CRN Talk. The smartest way for you to get the lowest prices on your plane tickets, domestic or international, is to call SmartFares first or last, but you've got to call us before you book your plane tickets. Fly anywhere in the world, fly anywhere in the U.S., and SmartFares can save you up to 75% on your plane tickets. We have the lowest airline ticket prices on over 500 airlines, and you've got a great 12-hour free cancellation window. Plus, with our live agent help you can always get fast help and fast answers so on your next trip maybe today maybe tomorrow how about right now pick up your phone and call smart fares plus save up to 75 percent in your plane reservation so call right now 800-915-2644 800-915-2644 800-915-2644 800 800-915-2644 when you really want Italian food, you have got to get to Colombo's. Colombo's Italian Steakhouse and Jazz Club, Colorado Boulevard, Eagle Rock. Is that little neighborhood place you wish was down the street from you? We're into the new year, new challenges, new people and places. But isn't it good to know that some things remain the same? And that's Colombo's. Colombo's is something you can always count on. Great steaks, the finest fish, Colombo's family Italian specialties, jazz every night and the world's greatest meatballs and service that makes you feel at home. What's surprising is that Columbo's has been doing it right since 1954 and still going strong. And Valentine's Day is right around the corner. It's time to make your reservation. 323-254-9138. 323-254-9138. Columbo's. You know, that little neighborhood place you wish was down the street from you. Columbo's. Manja. Radio. This is a portal of possibility for the 144,000 to create heaven on earth right here, right now, where we are. I have my gorgeous co-host, Kim Hicks, all the way from Hawaii. And Kim, you were talking about a beautiful quote you wanted to share to empower the planet and women. I, I do. And this, uh, of course, is not from a woman. It's from a man. But that's because men wrote most of the history until now. And now is the beginning of actually her story. So we're going to see a whole different event. But this quote really struck me at a time. Uh, I went to a meeting of a group called Gather the Women and Save the World. And uh, one of the speakers spoke about this quote it, as a major inspiring influence to her. And it says, it's from Matthew Arnold. If there ever comes a time when the women of the world come together purely and simply for the benefit of mankind, it will be a force such as the world has never known. Mm. Now, that should rattle in your bones a bit. It rattled in mine. And I began to again? imagine from that day forward what it would be like if women were fully empowered, just as equal participants all over this planet, and what kind of a society we would have. And I'm thinking it's a lot more exciting, adventurous, and thrilling than the one we've got. And I think a lot of these things are going to lead us in that direction. Uh, the, the gathering was, at, uh, was uh, really created fundamentally by Shino Jean Shinoda Bolin, who was a brilliant mm -hmm. uh, Jungian uh, psychologist who wrote several books. And this one was the greatest, most influential book on the empowerment of feminine energy and where the goddess had disappeared to. And this was called Urgent Message for Mother, Gather the Women and Save the World. It's a great book, Gather the Women and Save the World, Urgent Message for Mother. And with these kinds of backgrounds, you can really start to see the distinctions between feminine energy and masculine energy and how it operates. So 
I'm going to add another quick quote, Athena, uh, from Margaret Mead, the brilliant uh, anthropologist. And she said, basically, never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has. And I want to take that as a as a, an epitaph on the uh, on the arrival of feminine energy on the planet in small circles and small groups everywhere. All of our 144,000 light workers, the new ennobling, uh, enlightened masculine serving in the new arriving um, feminine uh, uh, divine energy is really the new unity of humanity. We balance our relationships, masculine and feminine, and we balance the entire planet. Kim, can you read that first quote again? That was so powerful. I would just read it nice and slow. I want it to drip into yeah. my consciousness. Happy to do that. That's the. This is from Matthew Arnold, a poet philosopher from probably 1800s, late 1800s, uh, maybe early 1900s. If there ever comes a time when the women of the world come together purely and simply for the benefit of humanity, it will be a force such as the world has never known. Ooh, that's that's it. That's that's really it. And you know, as a as a single mother, um, you know, mothering one child, I I see all children when I go into the streets as my own yes. children. I mean, who would not? Yes. If a, if a baby skinned its knee before you, what woman wouldn't bend down and, and kiss that little knee and take care of that child? Um, and it's really about raising the level of consciousness to, to expand beyond our own aura and our own personal needs and, and be more inclusive to the collective feelings and the empathy of our brothers and sisters and our children on the planet. And as, as souls are waking up, especially the 144,000, on the epitaph of their heart, they have global missions. And when we fan the flames of those passions, they get on board and they start actualizing those missions. And they start helping people to do the same. It's absolutely instinctual. And I've observed it most powerfully in the feminine energy. In the masculine domain, we've created way too much of a predatorial nature to our, our business dealings. Our, it's all seen as pseudo combat and competition and, and, you know, and so it's really a strange phenomenon. But your image of a woman bending down to help a child is so automatic and that is so universal that those values are the values of nurturance that this planet deserves to operate under. So this is Athena Starseed and Kim Hicks. We're going to go to another commercial break. Once again, this is a show for the light workers, the 144,000. And we're calling everyone to action to get into their soul purpose. We love you and we inspire you. So please like the show, share the show, stay tuned and connect with us and be on your sacred red road. This is uh, Athena and Kim Hicks. We'll be right Hey everybody, Michael Horn from What's Cooking Today and What's Cooking on Wine. Why not give the gift of wine this holiday season? Let us select it for you. We'll find you the best wines to give as gifts or to stock your own wine cellar. Just give us a call at 818-818-6400. That's 818-818-6400. CRN can find you the best wines with our wine experts, Michael Jordan, yours truly, and so many more. Check it all out. Give us a call at 818-818-6400. Wine this season from CRN. When you really want Italian food, you have got to get to Colombo's. Colombo's Italian Steakhouse and Jazz Club. Colorado Boulevard, Eagle Rock. It's that little neighborhood place you wish was down the street from you or into the new year. New challenges, new people and places. But isn't it good to know that some things remain the same? And that's Colombo's. Colombo's is something you can always count on. Great steaks, the finest fish, Colombo's family Italian specialties, jazz every night, and the world greatest meatballs and service that makes you feel at home. What's surprising is that Columbo's has been doing it right since 1954 and still going strong. And Valentine's Day is right around the corner. It's time to make your reservation. 323-254-9138. 323-254-9138. Columbo's. You know, that little neighborhood place you wish was down the street from you. Columbo's. Manja. 
do you want to fly somewhere, anywhere in the world? Smart travelers call MyFlightSearch.com for the best deals on flight tickets. Going to Manila, Bangkok, London, how about Singapore? Call MyFlightSearch.com for the lowest flight tickets available. What about a local vacation? Let's say you want to fly to Vegas, Orlando, Miami, Los Angeles, or Denver. Pick up the phone and call MyFlightSearch.com right now. We have exclusive deals that you can't find anywhere else. The only way you can get these low airline prices is by calling us. We have so many low prices available, we can't possibly tell them to you right here and now. If you're flying somewhere anytime in the next six months and you want the lowest airline ticket prices anywhere, you owe it to yourself to save a ton of money. So pick up your cell phone and call MyFlightSearch.com right now. Call 800-445-3166. 800-445-3166. That's 800-445-3166. Call now. 800-445-3166. If Ernest Hemingway was alive today, would he say this to you? Shakespeare, Mark Twain, Edgar Allan Poe, all great writers. And after reading your book, I simply must add you to the list. Wait, you don't have a book yet. So make a free call to Page Publishing. Their expert staff can help you turn your book idea into a real book, a masterpiece that could someday make the bestseller list in hard copy and digitally all across the world. Page Publishing can help you completely take your idea for a book, write it, and publish it. So if you want to join the ranks of some of the most famous authors in the world, call now for a free information kit. Turn your book idea into publishing gold. Make a free call right now to Page Publishing. 800-378-3212. 800-378-3212. That's 800-378-3212. Trying to sell your old car? Instead, donate your vehicle to Heritage for the Blind. Pickup is free and your donation is tax deductible. Just call 1-800-785-9618. Heritage for the Blind accepts cars, vans, trucks, and boats, whether they run or not. Call right now and receive a free three-day vacation voucher to over 50 locations. Call 1-800-785-9618. Donate your car today. That's 1-800-785-9618. This is a show called Heaven on Earth. We are a portal of possibility for the 144,000 lightworkers currently on the planet incarnated right here, right now. And this is about how we, each and every one of us, can create heaven on earth right here, right now with what we have. So this is an inspirational show, and it's also a call to action for all the lightworkers to get their talents, their art, their gifts their messages to humanity, and their love out there. And this is a show that will inspire and rekindle that inner flame. So Kim and I were reading some quotes, and we were talking about the power of the divine feminine, the easy, easy shift over to more feminine principles. And we were talking about Qigong and yin and yang and the purpose of that. So Kim, let's talk a little bit about the purpose of the masculine and the feminine and how by inspiring the feminine, the feminine will inspire the children, the animals, the nature, and everything comes back into harmony. Uh, it's a vital aspect of feminine energy that she automatically gives voice to the voiceless. She speaks for the plants, she speaks for the animals, she speaks for the children. And she speaks for the for all the lost souls and 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 persecuted people on the planet. So, so there, she must have a seat at the table at the great round table of consciousness that we're now constructing. Because, you know, uh, I was really floored when I went to see Judy Chicago's uh, sculpture called the Dinner Party in the late seventies, or, and it was this enormous triangular table set for women of both mythic and real and historical uh, place settings, these exquisite bubble-like sculptures at each uh, table setting. And it was all in this gracious honoring of the feminine power to come together and the power to collectively uh, pull all the, uh, the wisdom inherent in the nurturance of the universe itself. It's a, it was an exquisite eye-opener for me. I've, I've been blessed and lucky. Hey, you know, Athena, I really got to yeah. say, uh, you know, we're talking to the 144,000. I want to get everybody in place because when this wavefront comes and we all rise on it, we need to be in position. 
The 60s didn't happen till till it became obvious. You could feel it coming for years before it would come. And then when it arrived, everybody knew it because all the all the movements had aligned and everybody had came into a cooperative matrix and we pushed forward socially. And of course, a lot of that seemed to have disappeared, but it didn't. It all it, it exploded and went around the planet. And all the civil rights issues have become human rights issues all over the world. And the feminine liberation became the, the power of, of, the, of, of global empowerment of the feminine. And so that's uh, the backup story is you just hold on to your hats. If you think things are going slow and chaotic, it's just threshold crossing time. These are world changing times. And when we've done with this, we will live in an operational paradigm that supersedes anything we've ever created before. Much, much better, much more healthy and happy and integrated with nature. That is so powerful and so true. And that brings me to my next uh, key point, which is um, there is a very famous um, Indian rapper named Nemo Patel. And he used to rap about fancy cars and wealth and having a beautiful girlfriend. And then he went through a spiritual awakening. And he ended up going to Mahatma Gandhi's um, orphanage, one of his orphanages, and volunteering to help the children feed them clean out the latrines, uh, sing, put uh, programs together for these children, and his heart just exploded. <clears throat> and he took a step back from the music industry for a while, and he really did a lot of self-reflection and contemplation on what his talent uh, was, you know, in right use for. And so he did this beautiful music video that I'd like to share right now called Ode to women, and he was honoring all the sisters and all the mothers um, and all the divine feminine energies, and I'd like to play this video now. And Kim, um, if you could on your end, you can just uh, go to your computer. I sent you an email with the video, and while we're streaming it for our audience, you can watch it at the same time. It's about five minutes. All right. Thank you so much. Thomas, you can go ahead and roll the video. A simple rhyme in these complicated times is hard to come by To tell the truth I'm kinda stunned by You know I used to think the soul could only take so much But now I realize that it only takes your touch Teach me how to go against the grain with grace Can't you see? Humanity should plant its seeds in the smile of your face Quietly without expectation Without the need for others' approval and affirmation See you laid the foundation Since the beginning of time And right now, I only wish that I could press rewind And take back any pain I've ever caused you Now I pause to think about life if I lost you but enough of all that, it's time to celebrate Cause every moment that we live to you We dedicate and truth be told Cause you can see it in my eyes A genuine thank you Cause you're the woman in our lives uh, Women, it would be such a struggle without you Couldn't imagine how I would ever make it through The beauty that you bring to my life is so true That's why I appreciate you You are our women It would be such a struggle without you Couldn't imagine how I would ever make it through The beauty that you bring to my life is so true that's why I appreciate Yo. you, you are our women. 
You're like an aberration of my imagination. There's no exaggeration to describe my adoration for all the things that you bring to our lives. When I look in your eyes, I see the past and the future. From the mother to the wife, you the giver of life. And from the daughter to the sister, you the lifter of strife. You the pati, the auntie, the shakti, the shanti, maharani. I'm so lucky just to have so many of you in my life. Looking out for me with that smile sweeter than honey. And it's never been a moment I've had to doubt that you love me, even though I'm crazy. And sometimes I don't have a clue. But as a man, there's certain things I just have to do. And I appreciate how even when you can't relate, how you always seem to take my word with trust and have faith. You're the picture of patience, the definition of love. And no matter how much we tell you, it could never be enough. You we love you. women, it would be such a struggle without you. Couldn't imagine how I could ever make it through. All the beauty that you bring to my life is so true. That's why I appreciate you. You are all women. It would be such a struggle without you. Couldn't imagine how I could ever make it through. All the beauty that you bring to my life is so true. That's why I appreciate you. You are all women. 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 You are all women
um, to this great feminine energy. If we can run this thing a lot smoother and a lot better and nurture, nurture all the children for the gifts they've got. I, I mean, he did it. What a great job. And he rose above his ego to do it. That's the masculine in his noble role. Get, conquer your own ego. Go into your own labyrinth. You know, slay your own minotaurs, your own shadows, and then reemerge as an enlightened masculine and, and let your sword serve by cutting to the truth of the matter, honoring the feminine and giving birth to a whole new context of living on this planet. Hallelujah. <laughs> you know, another thing that's really um, important to say, so Nemo Patel yeah. basically started his own um, you know, music brand, and it's called Empty Hands Music. And you can go to emptyhandsmusic.org and, and, and see his life story. There's a small little video that tells about his rap career and how it's very ego-driven and materialistic and his transformation working at Mahatma Gandhi's um, orphanage and then his new platform of music, wow. which was a message. Every song is a message for humanity. And he says in that documentary about his life, we come into this world empty-handed. And we leave empty-handed. And so what do we do between the empty hands of the beginning and the end of our lives? All right. <laughs> what we do is we live life out loud, integrated, excitingly adventurous, learning, 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 loving, 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 every inch of the way. And so as, oh my as we... As we observe these beautiful um, men, uh, you know, around the world, Kim Arthur Hicks is, is one of them, a, a noble uh, cosmic general that since the 60s has held this torch of light for chivalry and nobility, for, for an ushering in of, of this new era of the divine feminine. You know, also Stephen Lawrence Harvey's waking up, and he's dedicating all of his art and his talent and his films to a project called Women of Wonder. And he's going around the globe finding ordinary women with extraordinary hearts. And he's doing um, an episodic series to honor their lives and spread the goodness. Because when we pump out into the media only the negative attributes of our society, which happen to be the patriarchal um, yang, out-of-balance energy, we forget that, that in every home there's a woman. And every being yeah. born on this planet came through woman. You cannot get into the earth plane without going to the stargate <laughs> and the loins of the divine feminine. <laughs> the sacred portal that we all come through and how we journey. How we're, we're actually space travelers from one, one womb to another as we are <laughs> birthed and rebirthed in these cyclings. It's a very interesting process, so. Uh, Athena, can we get uh, Lawrence uh, Stephen Lawrence Harvey on sometime? I would love to Absolutely. have him come on and and, uh, I, and, uh, and the women he's working with. Um, it's so it's so exciting. It's so powerful. I will see um, uh, Stephen Lawrence Harvey tomorrow, um, and we are going to be talking about women of wonder. And um, anybody who's interested in that, who knows a woman of wonder, you know, please reach out to Kim and I. We do want to highlight these women. We do want to support, uh, you know, cinematographers and documentarians and music videos that support this global message of the female values and the empowerment of the divine feminine. Because like Kim always says, we get to be about our mother's business. Yes, yes. That's a transcendental concept when we think about it. But we can no longer um, allow the earth to be totally um, persecuted virtually by the, by the man and his machinery. And uh, we're actually destroying our, our, our mother here. So it's time we got, to, got down to our mother's business indeed, Athena. Our mother's business is the well-being of all because she nurtures and gives birth to everyone and everything and and in that process uh the great diversity has come and it's a beautiful bouquet phenomenal so yes we are we are um all celebrating women of wonder and um stephen lawrence harvey says celebrating the divine feminine all right this is athena yes. starseed and my gorgeous co-host kim hicks all the way from hawaii this is a show called heaven on earth specifically designed to motivate and celebrate and inspire the 144,000 who are here to change the planet. So please share the show, like it, subscribe, and stay 
tuned. We'll be right back after these commercial messages. Located in the heart of Maui's premier resorts, Kanapali Beach Hotel is officially recognized as Hawaii's most Hawaiian hotel and the number one best value in Hawaii. With a range of accommodations and affordable dining options, this is the ideal setting to turn Hawaiian dreams into lifelong memories. Live Hawaiian entertainment every evening, free year-round children's programs, weekly arts and crafts fairs, welcome breakfast, and departure kukui lei ceremonies add to the value. Swim in the whale-shaped pool, indulge in the fabulous spa and hotel salon. Enjoy Hawaiian hospitality at its best at the Ka'anapali Beach Hotel. Call 800-262-8450 or go to kbhmaui.com. That's kbhmaui.com. Aloha. Ka'anapali Beach Hotel, Maui's Hawaiian Hotel. The smartest way for you to get the lowest prices on your plane tickets, domestic or international, is to call SmartFares first or last, but you've got to call us before you book your plane tickets. Fly anywhere in the world, fly anywhere in the U.S., and SmartFares can save you up to 75% on your plane tickets. We have the lowest airline ticket prices on over 500 airlines, and you've got a great 12-hour free cancellation window. Plus, with our live agent help, you can always get fast help and fast answers. So on your next trip, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, how about right now? Pick up your phone and call SmartFares, plus save up to 75% on your plane reservation. So call right now. 800-915-2644. 800-915-2644. 800-915-2644. 800-915-2644. Hi, everyone. This is Fred Dreyer telling you about my favorite Italian restaurant. It's Angelo's and Vinci's in Fullerton, California. Angelo's and Vinci's has the best pasta, the best seafood, the best salad, spaghetti, lasagna, and the most incredible pizza. And the chicken is delicious. Marsala, piccata, cacciatore, parmigiana, and more. For desserts, try our spermoni or our tiramisu, my favorite, flown in fresh from Italy. And the cannolis and the zeppolis are out of this world. Open for lunch and dinner. And don't miss the Sunday champagne brunch. Just $21.95, are you kidding? It's all up the road from Disneyland at 550 North Harbor Boulevard in Fullerton, California. Angelo's and Vinci's, like Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci. Call 714-879-4022 or visit us online at angeloandvinci's.com. which is a portal of possibility for the 144,000 light workers. And we were talking about female empowerment and uplifting the divine feminine everywhere. And we were coming off um, of a beautiful video with um, Nemo Patel, where he had his transformation and he honored the divine feminine. We're also talking about Stephen Lawrence Harvey and also the work of our gorgeous co-host, Kim Arthur Hicks, who has been, you know, building female altars uh, probably for the last 35 years in transformational art and media and poetry and writing. And it's just been one of the biggest cheerleaders for the divine feminine movement that I've ever seen in, in my life. And we've known each other for 15 years. So, Kim, let's wrap up this show and talk a little bit about your art with the divine feminine altars in the Green Fire Temple. Well, I certainly have believed in the service to the feminine, but I've done mirror carvings for the altars. And the great mirror that I wound up carving that seemed most relevant to me was the Gaia rising mirror. And it's Gaia with the uh, white dove of peace in one hand and, and the snake of uh, time in the other and how she's rising up out of the planet, organizing and reorganizing all the beings on the planet in an ascended arc toward a conscious evolution. And then in three generations, we will have a great prophecy come true of a enlightened civilization for, for thousands of years to come. And, you know, I want to run back to the one thing because it's the, the direction we're going, Athena. And it takes me back to Jean Houston's quote, She's the wisest being I know. I'm my great mentor, Jean Houston. And this is her quote that aims us in the right direction. Those things that women long for, deeper connection, 
spiritual richness, self-expression, creativity, right livelihood, and creating an enlightened world for generations to come all require the awakening of feminine power to bring them forth. Yes, That's the world absolutely. I want to move so beautiful, so beautiful. And I want to I want to say a special thank you to Gina, the producer of uh, Women of Wonder, who so graciously introduced me um, to Stephen Lawrence Harvey, and also who brought me to the Quantum Chi Gong documentary, which, um, you know, highlighted uh, the Qigong masters of, of the planet that are talking about how to to integrate the, the yin and the yang and how to be able to empower the feminine energy through every single soul and every single body on the planet. And um, Gina is an incredible woman of wonder, and she's an incredible producer and a connector for all these beautiful women. That night I met Sharon Rose, who did Sacred Mysteries for the last 25 years and, and took us to Peru and showed us shamanism and Pachamama ceremonies. And she is also um, in this Qigong documentary. And it's all about women putting their projects out there. And I want to ask the 144,000, please tune in and support these projects and these women, the Women of Wonder and the, the Quantum Qigong documentary so that we can have these TV series go through our media channels and we're the ones consuming the media. So it's up to us to say what we want that will inspire us and will inspire our children and our planet with real heroine archetypes. Hallelujah to that. Woo. All right, so um, we love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Any closing words, uh, Mr. Tim Hicks? Uh. I'm, I just go back to the opening of that, that video and how beautiful that was with all that prayer and honoring of the feminine. Just, I'm going to hold that image. That is the image of a respecting, beautiful, loving, masculine relationship to a beautiful, exuberant, exciting feminine. Hallelujah. Let's imagine right now let, having rose petals rain down on all of our mothers and on all of our sisters yeah. and all the women of the planet. Yes, Let's yes, send pink yes. and red roses raining down, Rain raining flow. down, raining yeah. down, using our imagery and using our heart and opening up and sending our mothers some roses and some love energetically. This is Athena Starseed and my gorgeous co-host, Kim Arthur Hicks. Without, the, without him, the show would not be possible. Please tune in to Heaven on Earth and share it with your friends in the 144,000. We'll see you next week. Yeah.